Hello and welcome to Sembang St. Paul from St. Paul's Anglican Church in Petaling Jaya, Malaysia. In this program, we hear casual conversations by Christians about how our faith connects with how we live. For this episode, our theme is hope. My name is Dr. Darren Ong, and I will be your host for today. Uh, I am pleased to welcome our panelists, Naoki and Ryan. Uh, Naoki, can you say hello? Hello. Okay, Ryan, uh, can you say hello? Uh, hello. So life has been difficult for a lot of us over the past year. And there's a lot of bad news uh, in Malaysia and in the world about the pandemic, about war, about climate change. There's a long list of things that are not going well. But, and also other than the global tragedies, many of us also face personal tragedies. Uh, especially during this pandemic, we have like deaths of loved ones. We have relationships that have withered away and struggles with work, struggles with school, uh, health, struggles with family. But one thing we can take comfort in is that the Christian message of hope is especially for people who are struggling. And the way Christians talk about hope, um, the hope for a Christian is centered on the resurrection of Jesus Christ and, and the promise of our resurrection to come. But this idea of resurrection can be confusing and weird rather than hopeful for people who are unfamiliar with the Christian faith. So I would like to invite our panelists to explain why is the resurrection of Jesus such a big deal? And why does the resurrection give hope to us who are in hopeless situation? So Naoki, I invite you to start first. Yeah, thank you, Darren. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, for me, I think uh, I give two, uh, there are two problems firstly uh, to why is there a resurrection? Uh, first problem is the sin that human have made. And of course, in the Bible, we know that many people have sinned and turned away from God. And that is uh, the main issue of why uh, God is very angry. The second one is uh, it will lead to death, where uh, death is um, the physical death and the spiritual separation of God is there. And that's why... Um, it's very um, it's very difficult to find uh, your life with Christ. So that's why, like the the resurrection is there, and of course, the resurrection of Christians would not be there if there is no resurrection in Christ. As we know that God uh, Jesus died on the cross and rose on the third day, and it's proven that the resurrection reveal who God is. And it's also, it's also to show that he is the Christ. And also the resurrection is also the fulfillment of God. And where, because human has sinned and God comes and saves all human beings from their sin and wash away their sins. And also at the same time, God's unfailing love has been given to every one of us uh, af after his resurrection. And also, uh, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 17 to 18, it says, He is the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever. And this shows that God can defeat death after, uh, because he rose again on the third day. And also, the resurrection of um, God also helped Christians to stand firm on their ground and help them uh, to to uh, show the good news to other people who are yet to believe or does not believe in Christ. Uh, that is the reason of why uh, resurrection is very important for Christians. Okay. Thank you, Naoki. Yeah. Uh, so, Ryan, uh, same question to you. We would like to hear your point of view. Why is the resurrection so important to Christians and why does it give hope? All right. Uh, yes, uh, Naoki did give some really good points earlier about why the resurrection is really important. Uh, I personally believe that the resurrection is probably the most important event in the Bible because it shows Jesus dying for our sins. And 
throughout Jesus, Jesus' life, he did make many claims. He said he was the son of God, and for that he was mocked. And he did many miracles and helped so many people. But what actually made people believe that he was the son of God was when he actually died and came back to life. Because he can claim he's God, he can say many, uh, he did many miracles, but in the end, he actually he made a promise. He told his disciples, uh, I'm going to die, and I will come back to life in a period of three days after my execution. But of course, his disciples did not understand. They did not believe him. But he actually did resurrect after those three days and came to see them. So this is a really important event because he died for our sins. And because of that, uh, we are all saved. And he has paved the way for all of us uh, Christians to go to heaven when we uh, find when we die. So, yeah, that's why I believe the resurrection is really important to us Christians. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ryan. And uh, one thing the Bible says is that as Christians, we do not li live like people without hope. You know? And there are a lot of problems in this world. And Jesus, but Jesus gives us the strength to endure those problems and those struggles. But of course, Christians struggle you know, in the same ways that, a lot of, that all people do. You know, but our faith gives us the strength to persevere through situations that are hopeless. So my second question to Ryan and Naoki here is that how does your Christian faith help you stay hopeful even when things in the world or things in your lives you know, are very bad? So since uh, Naoki went first the last time, uh, now I invite Ryan to go first. Right, yeah, uh, I feel like in light of this current pandemic, a lot of people have lost faith as they have they seen some of their loved ones fall victim to this virus or after they've seen the many atrocities that have been going on around the world, they sort of think to themselves, is there really a God or does a God actually exist? How are all these evil things happening? So I feel like uh, in light of all these um, horrors that are going on around the world, uh, we need to hold firm to our faith because I feel like this is sort of like a test to test and see if we really do have faith in Jesus, that Jesus can save us. So I feel like as long as we stay true to God and pray, uh, nothing bad will ever happen to us because he is protecting us. Okay. So yeah, even that. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Um, Naoki, okay, what about you? You know, in times where you know, there are struggles in the world or struggles in your life, how do you feel that your Christian faith uh, gives you hope? Yeah, thank you, Devon. Um, of course, uh, firstly, before we look at how uh, we have hope in Christ, we must know that we, we have Christ, the Christian faith and we believe in Jesus Christ. And in order to, uh, in order to do so, we, we must know that God is the one and only God and He is our way maker during these times of the, especially the pandemic now currently in this situation. And of course, I myself have ex uh, experienced many, um, have near death experience for myself because like mainly of like car accidents and all those, you know, because uh, I have uh, faced a lot of uh, car accidents, quite major ones. But of course, I, I, I thank God for, because His grace, He saved me and my family from those accidents. And I know He is always working in ways that we cannot see. And of course, uh, being, being a strong in a Christian faith, we know that in conclusion, we, we can believe in Christ and we trust in him. As uh, Ryan earlier said that uh, these are the tests of God. And of course, we must stand firm on our ground and uh, trust in him because all these are his plans. And uh, he, he showed us that who is, who, who is he. And of course, we can depend on him no matter what future lies on. And of course, uh, at the same time, yeah, uh, because also at the same time, I also have been encouraged to read the Bible. And I've been reading, I, I'm re currently still reading it. Uh, but also, I, mainly what I learned from that is like the King David, where he ran away from Saul the, uh, uh, earlier on for 13 years. And for that 13 years, of course, I can feel how David was suffering all the time in, uh, that during those times. And he kept running and running and running. But of course, uh, he kept the strong faith in God. And he trusts in him for those 13 years. And eventually, David got his place as king. And of course, not only he did get his place as king, but he did not forget God and he praised and worshipped him at the same time. So that is um, the main reason why I think we should stay hopeful in Christ. 
because those are like the few testimonies we have seen in the Bible. Okay, yeah. thank you, Naoki. Thank you, Ryan. So uh, we've heard these testimonies uh, about hope, right, in the Christian faith, and especially in times where things are a bit tough for a lot of people. I think that's a really important message. So um, let me, so this is, uh, so again, St. Bang St. Paul is a program from St. Paul's uh, Church in Pataling Jaya. So this is our website, stpaulspga.org.my. So if you're someone who has just stumbled on this video and want to learn more about our church, uh, that's where you can find us. It's basically stpaulpga.org.my. That's, that's where we are. And yeah, we've been, this is something that we hold on to us. And Jesus Christ came, especially for people who are in hopeless situations, people who are poor, people who are struggling, people who are sick. And those are the people that Jesus paid special attention to when he was here on earth. So if you're someone who is struggling, who needs hope, uh, we want to invite you to come and find, come and find Jesus. And if you're living somewhere near Bataling Jaya, look, look us up. And I feel that, you know, there is a God who cares for you, that loves you. you know, and Jesus came to minister to people who are in bad situations. Uh, so yeah, if you can contact us from this button, you can look at our different ministries. Um, Naoki and Ryan are both in our youth ministry here. Uh, of course, nothing is happening in person. It's all online. So contact us if you want to find out how to... Uh, you guys are having services, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, online. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. you have online services, right? So if you have, you're a youth, uh, someone their age, you can uh, attend those services if you want to. Anyway, you can contact us here for more information. So uh, let us end with uh, this prayer. So this is the prayer for the 11th Sunday after Trinity. Uh, I'll just pray it. Oh God, you declare your almighty power, most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant us such a measure of your grace that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So thanks again for uh, watching St. Bang St. Paul. So uh, Naoki, would you like to say goodbye? Yeah, thanks, uh, Darren. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, would you like to say goodbye? All right, thanks everyone. Goodbye. Right, and that's a goodbye from me as well. Uh, and thank you for our panelists. And for all our viewers, uh, goodbye and God bless.